kill. We're gonna have such a great summer. We can spend every day together. Hey, can you believe how many syrups I have? <laughs> hey, um, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, fine. It's just that, well, I took a summer job at a camp, and uh, I'm gonna teach swimming to little kids. Oh, oh, that's that's great. We'll have nights and weekends. Brent, it's not a day camp. Oh. It's in Maine. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's <clears throat> that's really far. I know. I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm gonna miss you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's usually where people say, uh, I'm gonna miss you too. Bren, here's the thing. Uh-oh. I mean, it's been great, but yeah, I'm gonna be going away and I, I don't want to be tied down. Oh, no, sure. I mean, in case you meet another girl. Well, I probably won't. Oh, I know, but no, no, no. When you go to Maine, you want to keep your options open. Right, exactly. And, you know, when I come back, we can pick things up again. No, Gil. We can't. Ren, are you upset? You dump me in a pancake house and you wonder if I'm upset? Ugh. Okay, this would be a really great moment if the syrup wasn't so thick. Counsel for the defense will now make her closing statement. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my client, Mr. Wolf, has been accused of horrible crimes. Destruction. That's my baby. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> but he is innocent of both. Objection. Speculative. I'll allow it. Proceed. The state has not presented a single shred of conclusive evidence. Yes, there is a house made of sticks and one of straw, but they were both built to code. That being said, a huff and a puff is not enough. Let me hear you sing it. A huff and a puff is not enough. Objection. To what? Rhyming? When'd you go to a party? Oh, phone. That's your mother. Tell her we having a good time, all right? Okay. Hello? Oh, my gosh, the cutest guy just drove by us. And Katie was like, ew. And he was like, ew. And we were like, whatever. So, how's family bonding? Oh, it's great. Yeah, we just left Northwestern, and uh, my dad tasted one of his own deputies. <laughs> <laughs> congratulations. congratulations. Nancy says congratulations. Thank you, Nancy. He says thank you. No, he can't hear you what you said. I know. <laughs> Chen either has Ebola or a very bad cold. In any event, you're up. Uh, uh, up where? At the podium. You're going to deliver the class president's speech. But what about the vice president? Well, he's not graduating. The secretary treasurer's next in line. Uh, all I did was handle petty cash. Well, I'm sorry, but you're not buying your way out of this. <laughs> now, I want you to deliver your speech with as much pride and commitment as Margaret Chen would, even though you know Margaret Chen. You know Margaret Chan. You know Margaret Chan. You know Margaret Chan. Run! Ladies and
ladies and gentlemen, uh, Lizzie McGuire. Um, I, I, Margaret Chan couldn't make it tonight, so I'm going. I'm going to be filling in for her. Not that any of us could really do that, but um. Anyway. Honey, honey, listen to the feeling in my knuckles. I think that we can all agree okay. that junior high is filled with embarrassing and awkward and sometimes just downright humiliating moments, right? Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> me neither. That is so sad. <laughs> wow. It's like watching one of those little furry animals get killed on the Discovery Channel. <sighs> I think Margaret Chan would want me to have some water right now. Self-doubt didn't kick in until the morning, when I woke up with a heart as cold and as heavy as Mount Everest. It was the day the cast list went up. Why had I been so certain that I was going to get the lead? I mean, Miss Bagoli didn't say anything encouraging. Carla smiled. Well, look what the wind blew in. Look what the cat dragged in. After you. Right, after me. small actors. You can quote me. I'm your new Eliza! Ah! <laughs> is uh, much more interesting than Eliza's in many ways. I mean, even though she's not the female lead, it's a part with depth and true contemporary resonance. And it's the one that I wanted. Good, because that's the one you got. I'll show you what it's like to be in my school. Is that a threat? Absolutely. 